savoring the sun. Mm -hmm. That's how many people in the mountains spent their day today. Enjoying this warm winter weather as we face the threat of single digits. News 13's Ingrid Allstead is live outside in the already chilly air. And Ingrid, we should brace ourselves for the cold, right? And here's why, Tammy. Today, many locations warm to the 50s and even 60s. Tomorrow's highs in the 30s. So many folks here in the mountains, including myself, soaked up the sun. It's nothing new to see runners sporting shorts doing laps around Beaver Lake. This is perfect. This is ideal. Or joggers through downtown in tank tops. Soaking up the rays. And this guy showing his midriff. No spring hasn't come early. It's one of those rare, warm winter days. When I left for work early this morning, it was in the 20s. I needed all of these items to stay nice and warm. But by 10 a.m., well, I don't even need the hat. And by 11 a.m., I ditched the scarf, too. And by lunchtime, I got rid of these thick leather gloves, too. And by mid-afternoon, it's so warm, you know, I don't even need this coat. But there is one item I'll continue wearing today, my sunglasses. Uh, I'll remember this time tomorrow when the high is in the 30s. Lauren, Laura, and Sammy. She's grown her coat. Now she's actually hot. Are yeah. dropping layers too. We have our <laughs> now have our jackets back here yeah. because we can no longer um, we no longer need wool jackets. They know the looming forecast. They're talking about living right. in the moment, and this is one of those mm -hmm. times. Perhaps they're storing some sun for tomorrow. It feels like. Uh, sparkles on my face. <laughs> All right, this will be good. A layer of ice on the lake isn't stopping Andy Gladstein from rowing since the temperature is warming to the 50s. It's the last good day for the rest of the week. It's going to be cold and windy. And the possibility of significant snow. Luckily, I have four-wheel drive. So if you ditch that scarf today, too, get it ready for tomorrow. Put on an extra layer and go to work. Okay, and as, of you, as you can see tonight, I only have my coat back on. No gloves, no scarf, no hat, but I've got it handy in my car for later tonight and definitely for tomorrow. Reporting live in Asheville, Ingrid Allstead, News 13.